everybody, it's me, Stephanie, and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. If it doesn't get too terribly long, I also went in the thrift store and bought some fall things in there too that I'd like to share with you guys. Sun's going down, it's getting kind of late, but I knew if I didn't do this in my car, I probably wouldn't do it at home. So I wanted to share the fall goodies I got with you guys. I went in the Dollar Tree for cleaning supplies and it came out with like fall and Halloween stuff again. This is what I went in there for. LA's totally awesome. I picked up the spray bottle and also the larger refillable size bottle. I have to clean some carpet steps. This stuff is, it, it's really awesome. It's some good stuff. As a matter of fact, one time one of my dogs when she was a puppy got into some of my lipstick and it got all over the carpet, all over the furniture, and this was the only thing to get it out. It will take your breath away. It cleans so good though. This stuff is amazing. That's all I went in there for and some other cleaning supplies like, uh, you know, toilet paper. I even bought a laundry basket. Uh, just cleaning, you know, cleaning supplies. Okay, I picked up a few Halloween things. I picked up this cute little, I couldn't resist. Frankenstein little snow globe. He's my favorite little monster. There he is. Let me turn the light off. Okay. You seem a little bit better. Look. He's adorable. Oh, I couldn't help it. Frankenstein's my favorite monster. So I picked that up and it says Happy Haunting. Just cute. Had to have it. Something that I'm working on for my nephew. His Halloween treat bucket. Okay, his Halloween treat bucket is uh, zombie lollipop fingers or witch fingers. Get four. Pick those up for him. Hubba Bubba bubblegum tape. It's a little zombie and Frankenstein again. Ta da! That's going in my little nephew's goodie Halloween treat bucket bag. I hadn't decided. Anyway, I'm working on something special for him. So, those are for him. Okay, the Dollar Tree has some beautiful candle holders. I picked this up the other day and I was so worried they would sell out. I went and got some more. It's getting really dark, you guys. I don't know if you can see me any count or not. But, anyway, I was so worried they would sell out. I went and picked up one for my mom. This right here, it's really, really pretty. It's like a orangey, burnt orange color. Down on the inside, it's gold. You guys can see it's pretty big. It's a pumpkin candle holder. I put like a twine ribbon around mine. I'm gonna do the same for her. So I got this for her, and I also picked her up I bought two of these for myself, but I just picked up one for my mom because when I saw these, I thought these would be pretty on each side. These little glass tea light candle holders. So, you know, she have this and one of these on each side. I bought four of these in total. I bought two for me, two for her. Like, get her to, to display it like that. And to go underneath it, if they had have had four of these, I would have picked up four, but all they had was three. I'm keeping two. It's a tapestry placemat. Really pretty. Fall leaves. So, mom can put her candles on her bar in her kitchen or living room, wherever she wants to, and just display them on this. Really nice, thick, good quality. I believe at Walmart, these are $1.96. Maybe a little more. But anyway, this is really, really pretty. So, I got two for me and one for her. Like I say, if they had had another one, I would have picked it up. But all they had was three. Um, other candle holders. Like I say, whoop, that's not bright nothing before we get home. Okay, I know I just showed you guys these. I've got four of these. Two are for mom, two are for me. I picked up uh, two of these it's the red i see these every year and i've never bought them and i've always wanted to so i picked 
up one of every color except for clear this year. So I got two of the red and I also got two green. So I love me some candles, y'all. And these really don't smell, they're just pretty colored tea light candles. It says cinnamon spice and the green says sweet harvest fig. So these are to go down in those candle holders I just showed you guys. So I've got those. Let's try not to break nothing with all these glass tea light holders. Okay, this is another really, really pretty candle holder that I was surprised to see at the Dollar Tree. You probably won't be able to tell. Well, yeah, you can. It's brown. And it has the twine and a little metal leaf on the front. Look at this, you guys. Something like this anywhere else would be four, anywhere between four to six dollars. And you guys can see, okay, this is this is a good size. This is really nice. So I picked up two of these, and this is like a brown color. I had already picked up like a greenish color, so now I have brown. So I picked those up. I love candles, y'all. Like, I leave stuff like this out year-round. So, I believe that's all the candle things. I picked up some leaf garland. I liked this because it was like golden brown. I already have some at home. And I wanted another one because mine's kind of looking a little worse for the wear. And then I liked this one because it was like more red and gold maple leaves. So, I picked up two fall leaf garlands. Yay, love them. My favorite time of year. Love it, love it, love it. I picked up a brush from a purse, Minnie Mouse. Little small brush. And something like this would be cute for a Halloween treat bag for a little girl, too. They had Minnie Mouse. Some other character, I don't know. But anyway, this from a purse. And this interests me. A wide angle smartphone lens this little thing I'm gonna try it out see if it's any count I need a selfie stick I wish Dollar Tree still had those anyway that's what I always look for but I saw this and I thought it looked interesting so I picked that up picture frames uh, just a plain old black one for a Halloween print that I, I'm gonna be getting. And then these, I hope you guys can see, they have like a wood grain look. So I picked up two of these. These look way more expensive than a dollar. Really, really pretty picture frames. I mean, these would be like $4 at Walmart or more, depending on where you're shopping. I know it's getting dark, you guys, I'm trying to hurry. Um, okay, thrift store. That was everything for Dollar Tree. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, for my mom's um, candles, I bought gift bags. Because, you know, the gift wraps just half the fun to me. So I picked up some brown little paper bags to go on the outside of them. I got this real pretty red gold yellow curly ribbon and in the middle of that I'm gonna put one of these leaves I thought they'd be pretty for my mama and to wrap her candles up in these are really big bags they're basket bags you get two but I'm gonna wrap her candles up in them they have leaves all over them her candles in her placement really pretty I picked that up and some like little fall colored paper thread. That's for my mama. We went in the thrift store. Just went in there for some dishes. Picked up some Halloween and fall. <laughs> this was two dollars and it is missing a character. It's missing the little kitty which if you guys know me you know I collect black cats for Halloween but all these other things are cute too. A little box of figurines. Everything's in there except for the kitty cat, but that's okay. This will be cute setting up with like some Halloween village houses. So, 
two dollars. That wasn't bad. Awful cute. Um, now these, you guys, I was so, so, so happy to find these. My great, great grandmother was, I hope I'm getting this right, and I, I wish I knew more about my heritage. She was a Choctaw Indian. If any of my family watches this, correct me if I'm wrong. But my great-great-grandmother on my mom's side was an Indian. Like, so I got Indian blood. A bunch of people in, in the South do. All over the world. Hey. The Indians were here first. Okay. So I was so happy to find this. And I do wish I knew more about my heritage. I really, really do. It upsets me that I don't. But anyway, long story short, I have pilgrims, and I was so happy to find these. I found resin Indian statue. Little lady. She's really pretty. Has braids in her hair. She's holding a basket of fruit and corn. She's beautiful. I cannot tell you guys how happy I was to find these. I don't know where this is from originally. It says 1339, if y'all can see. I think I got the set for seven, which was kind of pricey for the thrift store, but I was just beyond happy to find some Indian, Thanksgiving Indians to go with my pilgrims. Here's like the chief, her husband. He's also holding a basket of fruit, and on his back he has corn. I guess there may be probably eight, you know, like size of a doll. So, I cannot even tell you guys how happy I was to find these two. Because like I say, I have pilgrims, but now I have Indians to go along with my pilgrims. I was so happy. And I wish, 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 wish I knew more about my heritage. I really wish I had somebody, like, I could talk to. Because my grandmother's passed away. I'd like to ask her questions about her, her, her Mom, her mom. No, it was my grandfather's mom. Gosh, see. Oh, uh, anyway, she was a full-blooded Choctaw Indian, and I don't know anything about that part of my heritage. I wish I did my heritage. Anyway, okay, I was happy to get these guys. Look, look, look at them again. They're beautiful. It's getting dark. The sun's already gone down. Thank you for watching this video. I know I got to rambling a little bit because I get super excited about fall. I know you can't see me too well. But anyway, thank you for watching. Whatever time of day it is, wherever you guys are at, I hope you've had a wonderful day or I hope you have a wonderful night. And I will talk to you or see you in my next video. Bye, guys.